coding made easy. So what's up, everybody, and welcome to your next uh, your next algorithms tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the insertion sort. Uh, so in this sorting algorithm, the way it works is that um, it, uh, we would we check for a certain element in the uh, in the array. If the one before prior to that element is uh, is greater than that one, that that means we need to swap the position. Then we continue to swap it until it we insert it into the proper position. So how it looks like is is this. So we start with this element. So we start with the second element. We say okay, is the second element less than the first? Yes, it is less than the first. So now we swap it with the first one right there. So we're going to say 4, 10, 11, and 5. Okay, and so now we're we're going to, now that we're done pointing at uh, this, now we're going to be pointing to the next element in the race. We're going to start pointing to this. Choose a different color. So now we're going to point here and we're going to say, okay, or you know, I should put that there. So we're going to say, okay, now we're going to check if this is less than this. And it's not less than that. Okay, so we don't need to execute any loop and the, the it's going to say the same. So we're just going to write this out. And so let's get another color. Let's get green. And now we're pointing here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, is this less than this? Okay, so it is less than that. So now we got to swap these positions. Then this is going to check to see if it's less than that. It is. So then to swap th those positions. So we're going to end up at four, five. So, okay, I'll show you each iteration. So the first, what it's going to do is going to say this is less than that. So we're going to have four, ten. 5, 11. Then it's going to check the one immediately down below it. It's going to say, okay, is this less than this? Yes, it is. So we're going to have 4, 5, sorry about that, 10, 11. And voila, it's sorted. So basically what it does is that if the one immediately below it is lower than it, then it keeps on shifting it down until the one immediately to the left of it is less than it. Therefore, it inserts it right into its position. Um, and if the one to the immediate left of it is um, is already already set that less less than it, then we assume that it's already inserted into the right position. And so we move on to the next point, and then we swap it down until we insert it into the position. We start the next position, and we swap it until it, it goes uh, back down. So let's see how we're going to execute this with code. Um, it's it's rather simple concept and uh, the code is not uh, too hard so we're gonna say insertion sort and we're gonna take the same parameters and we're gonna say int size okay so now that we have that we're going to make an integer i and we're gonna set it to one remember that we want to start from the second element not from the first element and we're going to make it integer j but not uh, put anything in it so we're going to put a for loop we're not going to put anything in the uh in the first part and we're going to say while well, i is less than size i'm going to increment that by one and then we're going to set j equal to i we're going to make a while loop and we're going to say while j is greater than zero and temporary j is less than temporary j minus one and then what we want to do here is just move it down so what is this saying right now we're gonna we're looping through we're setting it to one so we're setting the starting position right here and we're looping through uh through the whole iteration of the array so now we set j equals to i so now j is equal to one and we said loop while j is greater than zero and while we're saying while j is greater than zero and if this element right here this j is less than this element right here 
So if this element is not less than this one, then we have no need to execute this while loop. If it is great, if it is less than, which it obviously is in this scenario right here, then we want to move it towards the left. We want to move it one down. So we sort of just want, we want to swap positions. So just like with the bubble sort, when we swap positions, we're going to say, we're going to have a temp and we're going to say temp array j and we're going to say temp array j is equal to temp array j minus one and then we're setting temp array j minus one equal to temp so we're just swapping uh, just swapping the values and that's all we have to do and then we're going to decrement j by one now if you notice there's something that we can do to even uh, simplify our code a little bit uh, as you can see we already subtract one we we're checking to see uh, we're setting j minus one equal to temp right and then we're subtracting one by j so what we can easily do right here is just say minus minus j which is subtract one by j first and then um, set the index of this array so then it will it will automatically do it for us we don't have to add that extra line uh, to our to our while loop. So uh, that is basically it. So that's how it works. And let's see it in action. Let's put an insertion sort. And hopefully there's no errors. And let's run this. And we, if we look at it, we check. Yep, it goes from least to greatest uh, based on the numbers we have here. And it, again, if you want to switch it from greatest to least, uh, we just got to switch this right here. Oh, sorry. And as you can see, from greatest all the way down to the least value. So let's do a final walkthrough of it again. So we set i equal to one, like I showed you before, to set it to this index. We say we set j equals to i, so j is this value right here. We say if j is greater than zero, which it is, and temp array j, so if four, if we're using this array, if four is, let's change this, or you know what, let's just leave it to greater than. So we're gonna say if four is greater than 10, then we execute this right here, we execute the swap. Four is not greater than 10, so we, we assume this is in the right position right here. So then after this is done, this while it doesn't get executed, so i increases to uh, by 1. So we set the pointer to right here, to the 11 mark. And we say, okay, uh, we set j equals to i2, so then we say, okay, is j greater than 0? Yes, it is greater than 0. So we say, okay, is temp array j is it greater than temporary j minus one so is it greater than four yes it is swap these values so we have 11 and we have four there then since uh we do another check is j greater than zero yep j is set to one so then we say okay uh is uh is 11 greater than 10 yes it is okay swap the values so we have 11 10 4 and 5 and then after that j gets set to zero so x is that it increments i plus one it starts pointing here and then it moves it so on and so forth to get it to insert it into the right position so anyways uh that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe don't forget to like my page on facebook follow me on twitter and don't forget to sign up on my website for source code and the forum that's it and bye for now